I'm here to talk to you about using change for, to, using fiction to motivate change. Um, let's do a, let's, let me ask you guys a few questions first. See if my equipment works the right way. So we have to agree on a few things, otherwise we'll maybe have a lot of confusion. Uh, what do you think fiction is? Stories? Something that's not real? Imaginary? What else? Anything else? That's, that's a pretty good list, though. I like the imaginary one, because if you want to change something, you have to be able to imagine it. If you can't imagine it, then how are you going to change? Sorry, I shouldn't stand in front of the projector. Somebody wave at me if I do that again. Um, all right. Uh, these things aren't going to cooperate the way I want to. Nonfiction. <clears throat> Let's talk about that for a moment. What is nonfiction? Have you read any nonfiction recently? Give me an example of nonfiction. And don't just read the slide. I know it says the answers are back there. I'm, I'm letting you cheat too much. Give me something new. Use? Like a, oh, a use case. OK. News. Ah, yes. Yes. Maybe fictional news. Yes, there's always questions about that. Right, right. Excuse me? Travel logs, that's cool. But before I go somewhere, it's nice to know what's really happening, not the imaginary part. That's, that's helpful for planning. Experience reports, OK. And sorry? Uh, my, somebody help me here. I'm sorry, I don't know what that means. Tweets. Twitter can be fiction. Oh, come on. <laughs> So it sounds like we understand what the differences are. Uh, there's a, there's a lot, nonfiction books are very good at, there's some things where I really want nonfiction. I want it when I'm, I'm really curious about facts, figures. I want to know, uh, I might be imagining something, and I might want to get a nonfiction book to help, help me there. It may not be able to help me, but it'll maybe give me some comfort, because uh, I may need to talk to a manager or...